The use of space has improved our lives and changed our civilization. Security, communications, education, environmental awareness, and much more have been strengthened since the dawn of the space age. The exploration of space continues, and we have taken the first steps toward understanding the cosmos and living away from the Earth. We stand on the verge of a new and revolutionary era. Space is our future. Space is important for a few different reasons. It is the frontier that we have yet to cross. I think space is a natural extension of who we are as humans. Access to space is important because humans have an innate need to explore. Space is our new frontier. We live in a on one planet, which is a closed system with limited resources, limited developmental potential. And once we use all that, it's all going to be gone. Access to space uh, is important for humanity uh, to grow the civilization. It's an extremely critical tool that we need to develop in the future in order to protect our civilization. It's important to anyone with a desire to explore and to our sustainability. It is a place that's unique uh, insofar as it gives people perspective. There's always that horizon out there that exists, and for us, in this day and age right now, it's space. Space is really the truest, largest frontier. The amount of knowledge we have to gain from going there is infinite. There's so many exciting things going on in space right now. The Lynx vehicle in the very near future, Elon Musk wanting to bring humans up to space, the Dream Chaser from Sierra Nevada, it's all incredibly exciting. It's just a stepping stone and it's only going to get better. We've been hearing for many years that space exploration is too expensive or it's too dangerous or it's not important and that's not true. It's extremely important and the private sector is proving today that independent space programs are viable. Almost every map you ever look at has the country's outlines on it. When you look down at planet Earth and see no political boundaries, if I could take a world leader from every country on one orbit, the world would be a better place. Space is inherently a human thing. Any of us can look up at the sky and wonder what it is that's out there and how can we work together to get there. The technological benefits of space exploration cannot be calculated or overstated. I think the next few years are really going to be a watershed moment. There are all sorts of tangible riches out there for harvesting. There's so much to do. There's a big place out there. We can't afford to stop because I think if we stop for any reason, we won't get started again. A vigorous space program unites the people of Earth to dream large and to do great things and to adventure into the unknown. Some of my earliest memories are skipping off school to stay home and watch the Apollo moon landings. And those experiences set the tone for the rest of my life. I think I really got excited about the Kepler mission and I thought it was so interesting how they actually found planets so far away from Earth. It began when I was a young child growing up in southern Minnesota. Not a lot of population there, so real beautiful views of the night sky and I can just remember looking up at the Milky Way and the stars and just being absolutely fascinated by what I saw and wondering what was out there. I was five, six years old and I saw people preparing to go to the moon and walking on the moon. It was life changing. I just, I found out that I had a passion for physics in high school and I knew then I wanted to be an engineer. John Glenn was about to fly, so there was a lot of excitement in England about that. And uh, from that moment on, I wanted to be an American because they seemed to be the only people who knew what they were doing and where they were going. My mother used to work for NASA. She used to bring home these uh, pamphlets called NASA Facts. I started reading them when I was a kid and uh, started playing Rocket Man in my closet. And then when I was a Navy pilot, I thought about going to test pilot school. Three missions on the shuttle and uh, one on, on Soyuz uh, up and down to the ISS where I spent seven months. We as humans have a thirst for adventure, we have a thirst for knowledge, and we want to be better. And the exploration of space is the greatest adventure we can ever undertake. And we must do it for knowledge and because it's in our nature to do things that are difficult.
I think the next few years are really going to be a watershed moment, uh, period, epoch in, in uh, history for spaceflight. These commercial players will be able to afford access to space to people in a manner that is uh, heretofore unforeseen and will really trigger, I think, a cascade of interest in traveling to space. I honestly see uh, lunar development as well as uh, habitats that are going to be evolving in space. I think incremental gains are very important. I think uh, SpaceX is incredibly important towards that. They're now driving the commercial launch sector. We're going to take back the ability for America to fly our own rockets and our own payloads into space and not have to pay the Russians to do it and not have to fly on old technology. It's a different paradigm than what the traditional model has been where uh, the government will pay a contractor to supply something. It now needs to be more of a collaborative effort with the idea of what can we commercialize and what's going to have a society impact. I think just generally the most exciting thing that I see coming up is the commercial access to space so that it becomes more open source for everybody. We need, as a civilization, and as a species, to move out into space, to understand how to live, survive, explore, harvest, and create the best opportunities, the best opportunities for our civilization to flourish. Space exploration is one of the most difficult science and engineering challenges that humanity has in front of it. In order to achieve this grand challenge, in order to even come close to meeting it, we need the talents, experiences, and cultures of people from all over the world. There are now starting to be a lot of careers um, for young people who are going into college or graduate school. If space tourism takes hold, it's the hotel industry, but in a unique environment. There is a great need for young people coming into these fields because that has not been happening actually for a couple decades now. Space exploration is more viable today than at any time in history, and the private sector is showing us how to get into space. SpaceX is, is, has really shaken up the industry in the past two, three years or so, and by, by bringing this intense competitive edge that they have. We need more scientists. We need more people who see science as an inherently vital part of our success as a species on this earth, of our ability to overcome any challenge that nature, that the universe might throw at us. I would encourage all young people who are interested in being part of this renaissance in space exploration to follow their hearts. There are all kinds of jobs that are going to be available in aerospace in the coming years, in the near future. Follow your passion and um, then there'll always be an opportunity to tailor whatever you're interested in. You'll find a way to adapt that to um, an interest in space. It's much more likely these days that if you have a specialty in biology or pharmacology, you could become an astronaut payload specialist or a mission specialist, actually fly on the space station or fly with a commercial company to develop new stem cells or new, new protein crystals that could cure cancer. Follow your dreams, dream big. Don't worry about what people think about your dreams or what they say because if you are passionate about it and you are committed to them, you can make big things happen. We will become a spacefaring species, and I don't just mean trips to the moon or sending robots to the asteroid belt. I mean actual civilizations on other planets and large asteroids, and perhaps even beyond our own solar system. We're explorers by nature and we're inventors by nature, and we will devise better technologies, and we will come up with methods that will allow us to live permanently in space. We should be able to make areas of space that are habitable, 
space should become a destination and a place that is part of various industries that exist today on Earth. Going to space is satisfying a, a curiosity that fundamentally is just in our DNA. And I think of all the reasons, that's probably the best. We could actually achieve space colonization. We could actually achieve cities on the moon, space travel between planets. It could be there, given the opportunity. It's a mandate that we find a way to become an interplanetary species. I see that as the, the most important thing that we have to accomplish in space. It's in our nature to go further. We want to escape the confines of our planet and experience the wonders of the solar system. If by mid-century we are all out there in space and we have opened up the paradigm, and we have changed the mindset that so many of us have here in this trapped cradle. If we can open that up and move out and by mid-century have access to balanced resources, power and energy, and space like we need. Thank you.